Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the inverts and today we are rehousing our very young, small, juvenile females which we got from that £150 mystery box last week from Kevin Bigley. And again, I'll leave his de details down in the description. So we're going to be rehousing a Ypsis, a Valhalla and a Herodicium or Iridipalma Iridicium. Um, three absolutely beautiful spiders. They're all very fast, extremely fast spiders. They're all arboreal as well. Um, we're even gonna chuck in the Chilibacarus Kran Kraken, um, six to seven centimeters small juvenile in there as well. Um, but yeah, so let's just crack on with today's video. These spiders are absolutely stunning, and when they become large juveniles, you'll see on this channel just how beautiful these spiders can actually be. So first up is the Chili Brachius Kran Karakan. Gone for a Baroplast tub because this is only a small juvenile, it'll be fine in this tub for a good while yet. Get some moss in there, that substrate is Wix's uh, top soil perfectly fine for this because it's not a permanent enclosure we've got moss going in at the top to help with the humidity keep that humidity down in that soil the baroplast has also got air holes in around the top and i think there's a couple across the bottom as well a couple of finger holes is absolutely essential just to give our spider a kick start in making those burrows um i've done two or three in this enclosure so he's got some or she's got some options and then the all important water dish i know there's a lot of debate about water dishes at the moment but if you can put one in put one in if we've got them at home use a water dish i know they can drink from the moss and from their webbing and stuff like that but to have a permanent water source in the enclosure is all has to be a positive let me know what you guys think down in those comments um, a little bit more moss a different species of moss going in there as well and again just to help with the humidity and it looks awesome i mean what enclosure doesn't look good without a little bit of moss in there we spray the moss down and i've said this before but that moss can expand up to eight times its own weight actually carry eight times its own weight in water which is really really super duper when it comes to how humid it is and we are about there now what normally you do is take the top off put it in the enclosure, take the tissue off the top and uh, put it in the position that I'm doing now. But I wanna show you guys what these spiders actually look like. So this is what we're doing, nice and close up with the Chili Brackets Kran Kraken. Normally the, the pot would be full of tissue and you would just lie it down, take the top off, pull out the, the top of the tissue and let it come out by itself. But I wanted to kind of show you what it looked like without having the tissue in the way. Um, so this is what we're going to do. We're just going to place it in there now, put the top on, wait for it to come out and start burrowing, and then go back in and actually remove that catch cup from in there. Like we have there. And look at the little fella. Absolutely beautiful. So I mean, he'll be com or she'll be completely fine in there for another four or five molts. Small juvenile. We'll wait till it gets to kind of a medium to large juvenile, and then we'll put it into a forever home, which will be a little bit bigger than this enclosure that we've got now. Now the arboreal setups. I'm going to run you through the arboreal setups, and then we're going to have a look at the spiders that have gone into them at the very end of this video. So these are around eight inches by five by five. Um, perfectly fine for arboreals we've already gone and put about an inch and a half to two inches of substrate in the bottom uh, just going to give the inside of this a clean because when we put a spider in it we want to see it um, and if the sides are all wet and sprayed up we're not going to see it and we're going to get annoyed so we're just going to give these a little wipe down and if you look around the front there isn't any hair holes but in the sides there certainly is so we've got that ventilation coming in and going out absolutely awesome what else do we need in here oh you've got it You're a little bit of moss and you know what that's for you've got it again to help with that humidity absolutely awesome now i am waiting on trying to get hold of well actually i've ordered them from amazon some real small ink pots for water dishes so fingers crossed that'll arrive, that'll arrive tomorrow um so we haven't actually got any water dishes for these ones but they will be going in so i'm going to just drench this moss a little bit extra so when that spider goes in it can have a drink until those pots come tomorrow 
And again, that moss holds eight times its own weight in water. So again, absolutely superb for high humidity. A little piece of cork bark. What you want to do is kind of test run the carp cork bark. So put it in where you want it. Make sure the lid fits snugly without being pushed by that piece of cork bark. And if it is, take the cork back out, snap it and put it back in again or cut the end off. And just keep repeating that process until that lid fits just as I'm showing you now absolutely snugly and perfectly now we're just going to repeat this for the other enclosure as well just get that piece of cork bark test fit i think i have to take a little bit i think i might have took a little bit off the top of that one off camera to be honest but there we go absolutely awesome and that's all we need for small juveniles uh, a boreal species absolutely perfect we have got a third arboreal species i didn't have one of these but um, I did have a different type of enclosure so for now what we'll do is we'll scoot across and I'll show you me putting the pots straight into this enclosure here ever so easy just take the lid off put it on its side and then let that spider come out you can actually leave the the little pot in there and it will use it as a retreat or you can take it out it's up to you with the arboreal species at this size it's probably better just to leave those pots in because as soon as these guys are in they can be very flighty um, and they can be very very quickly as well especially that wide diverse peas there and the hysteratum the idrapella um, hysteratum is also a super super fast one we'll show you these guys a bit better towards the end of the video now this is my old enclosure what had my mantis in recently passed away um, couldn't tell you why presumably of natural causes but it wasn't a spider so I'm not too worried about things like pheromones and hormones from another spider in this enclosure I'm just going to retart this one up and get it ready for the um, heristerum get some fresh moss in there i've put a little bit 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 of a sprinkling of soil also the seed pod just clean out any dirt that's in there and reposition it however you fancy having it in there and we're all good to go absolutely awesome and again it was a it was a mantis that was in this enclosure before that passed away so i've got no worries about putting a spider in here um, I just want to top it up with a load of moss and get it spider ready. That moss really does look good with that black, black background, I must say. And what we'll do is we'll spray that moss down. Again, humidity, absolutely perfect. And we'll get our um, Iridna Palma Hiristum pot. And again, normally you'd have this covered in tissue but i wanted to show you guys exactly what we're doing so i take the lid off you would take the top of the tissue off and then again just position this facing inwards so if the spider does come bolting out it'll bolt around the enclosure instead of coming straight back at you and then simply just get that lid positioned in place and that's all three rehoused really really nicely and dead quickly so that's a small juveniles that we've rehoused the Valhalla, the Heristerum, and then also the White Diet Versa peas. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm just going to show you the White Diet Versa peas at the moment. Just look at those pores. <laughs> These are an absolute stunningly beautiful spider. Just look at her. Absolutely mind blowing. Ab mind blowing. Even at such a small size, those colours are absolutely popping. But just look, absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'll leave Kevin Bigley's um, Facebook profile in the description if you want to hit him up, see what lists he's got available at the moment and see what he's got in. Uh, but this is just <laughs> absolutely beautiful, beautiful spider. That bomb and then the colours on the bomb and the legs really take this spider to another level when it comes to looks stunningly beautiful this is our valhalla um a highly sought after tarantula these are can be very very expensive and it's actually steve that donated this one to me he won it on one of the giveaways that we did um and said to kevin look scott hasn't got one can you put it to one side and send it to him one day and that's what happened in this in the uh, mystery box that we got off kevin but look 
what was again an absolute stunningly beautiful spider this when it's an adult will be absolutely mind-blowing it will be such a beautiful beautiful creature this is the idrapalma uh horus term again another beautiful beautiful spider boom so that was our four small juveniles nicely rehoused the crank cracker obviously went absolutely smoothly um apart from that one the valhalla the diversipes and eridistratum again if you're going to rehouse these try and do it like i've done um i took them out of the pots put them back in so just imagine it with the tissue in there take the top off put it into the enclosure just leave them in there until they come out on their own accord it's a probably the safest way we can do it um especially when it comes to arboreals because the arboreals tend to be a lot more faster a lot more quicker a little bit more frighty and um, easier to bolt out of the enclosure so just be very very careful uh, have catch cups absolutely everywhere if you can do it don't be an idiot like me and try and film it and all the rest of it try and do it in the bath at home um, it's a lot easier in the bath because if they get out they tend to run around the bath get tired you can catch cup them quite easily and pull them back into that enclosure but my god I am so excited, especially for those three arboreal species, to have them here. Um, hopefully, watch them grow over the next couple of years into young adults and then adults. I am so, so impressed. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful spiders. Um, but yeah, and also, before anybody slates me in the comments for using the same substrate, um, that was a mantis enclosure. So there's no hormones, there's no pheromones or anything from a previous spider in that enclosure so we took out the tired moss replaced that so our spider going in there should be completely fine without an issue anyway guys thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed remember to hit that subscription button for me and if you like today's video drop a like on this video and if you don't like it feel free to give us a thumbs down also and as always we shall see you again on the next one